hello there welcome back to my channel today i wanted to show you a feature a new feature that i'm actually quite excited about with the bicep version 18 0 0.18 they have released the possibility to create bicep native parameter files instead of json files and i'm actually really excited about this because they're going to make the cloud engineers lives a lot more a lot easier and um, better because they are much more readable they are uh, more editor friendly json is not meant to be used with by by human beings actually um, it's much cleaner and has less lines of code and yes as you can see here there's going to be a bit of a confession um, i saw the in vs code integration for these parameter files and you're actually going to be seeing a hardcore vim user um, start using vs code for this so stay tuned <laughs> and um yeah i prepared a small demo here i'm in my lab repo that you can find on my github and in here i have uh, created a, a very simple key vault deployment file a bicep template i mean uh, it has a few parameters for example the SKU and the key vault name and the location uh, which you can then give either by just giving them in during deployment or by using a deploy parameter file so in the old days like the days before now you use these json files to define your parameters and these are just so ugly like i i hate them it, it is it is not readable they have so much noise and extra brackets and actually my linter is removing these quotes as you see here but if I go back here to a um, b an example, um, you will see here it has all these extra quotes. It has you have to do the content version, the schema, and you have all these extra brackets. It is just so ugly, and it is very verbose, and it generates a lot of extra lines. So now we have the possibility to use bicep parameter files like this. Do you see the difference? compare this to this oh this is yeah as a f to a nerd like me this is amazing because you can still define objects like this but they are separated by new lines you don't have to worry about commas and you don't have to quote the 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 keys here so amazing i'm so happy about this so as you see here you have to define a using keyword at the top and then you define your parameters like this with param example string and then the equal sign and then the value that you want to give the parameter uh, so here's the release note for the bicep uh, release where they um, releases two weeks ago and they su uh, added support for bicep param files i'll put that link in my blog post here as well so um let's uh let's see let's try i have this uh, main.bicep file but what i would like to do is just convert that json file that we have to a new bicep param file so i'll do key vault dot bicep param and open that and then we split here we go and then here i'll go back to my json file so what we do is we do using and then main.bicep and then we have param key vault name is misha coffee test 108 param key vault skew equals oops standard there we go so just comparing these two it's like half the lines of code and it looks a lot cleaner and it's just a joy to work with so thank you very much microsoft for implementing this key vault just double checking key vault name and then key vault skew okay so that should be fine then uh, let's try to deploy our template so i'll do az deployment group create and then resource group coffee it's the name of the resource group that i've prepared for this demonstration and then i'll do template file 
um, key vault dot bicep param. Sorry, the template file has to be main dot bicep and then parameter file. Parameters is the key vault dot bicep param. So this command is going to take the deploy the the template that I that I took that I created and use the key vault of bicep param. And as this is running in the background, I'm going to um, show you a few really cool features that are in VS Code now uh, around these uh, bicep params. So as you see here, this is this old. Um, I'm in the same directory. But here you see we have our old JSON parameter file here. And what I actually can do is I can do a right click and I can do decompile into bicep params. So then you click none. And then here it is actually creating the, the parameter file for us. So interestingly, it did not uh, implement the using. But one advantage of using VS Code for this, so I have to confess this is really cool. Um, if I start, yeah, if I start typing it, it will actually detect the file that I was going to to be to use. So I have that one in here as well. And another really cool thing is that this does not work in my Vim uh, just yet. But as if I'm editing this parameter file, firstly, you can see that um, GitHub Copilot is actually starting to generate suggestions for me. But also, if I misspell something, it will show me a red line and say, oh, you have a problem here. And if I go to the issues, I can see the parameter key vault name is assigned in the params file without being declared in the bicep file. So it will de detect if you are doing misspellings or if I, for example, um, give a, uh, a value that is not existing or that is not allowed. So if I do uh, rubber duck here, it will say the key vault SKU expects a value of type premium or standard, but the provided value is uh, rubber duck. So this is just really useful when you are creating and then you can save time because it will actually detect these these problems prior to deployment and not uh, after your during your deployment if you go back to your file and you have to edit it so this is just really useful so yes uh, as long as i can't get this to work in vim just yet i uh, i i actually am going to use vs code for my uh, bicep editing because this is just awesome and lastly what you can also do is you can take the the bicep file that you have and instead of converting an old parameter file I can do generate parameter file from the bicep file so I'll do generate parameter file bicep param and I'll you can either choose the required only or all of the parameters so we'll do all and here we go it this time it did include the main.bicep line here and it just very neatly created a parameter file that I can now start filling out if I wanted to or or my team can start using. So yes, these function, this functionality cannot be denied. It is awesome and um, this saves a lot of time. I mean, Vim is all about productivity and saving time because you're not using your mouse uh, and it saves time in that way. But you also have to use the right tools for the job uh, that you're doing. So for this kind of work, I'm actually going to be using VS Code from now. So checking back on my deployment, I can see from the JSON here that it uh, went successfully. So let's just go quick, jump over to the portal and I'll refresh it here. And as you see, we have our key vault uh, deployed. So this, is, uh, this has been the demonstration of the new bicep param files. I hope uh, you got some value out of this. I think we have, um, we went through all of the points. It's more readable, editor friendly. It's cleaner, less lines of code. Uh, it has a great VS Code integration and you can quickly convert or generate them using VS Code. So uh, I hope you found this useful and I hope to see you in the next one. Let me know what you think in the comments. Have a good day.